The anti-nomadic theory has been studied by many dualists. Top Einstein Big Brain Omega Duelist has said that the anti-nomadic theory needs more research. As we have dug deep into this box and learned all the powers of the synchro summoning engine, there has been a new breakthrough, fusion summoning. And with Naturia Gaius Trio, this deck is now complete. But we do have some additional combos that we need to talk about. And I think that this is the secret meta, the secret deck, the secret power that you need to end the reign of the blue eyes and collapse the FA monsters. Now, my boys, I'm not sure if you caught me yesterday on YT30. That's my 30 minute live stream YouTube exclusive series that I'll be doing here on this channel. Primarily is gonna just be fe featuring different deck lists, different archetypes, different things like that. And then my stream on Twitch is very much more casual, just more of a hangout for around two hours or even more. So you can follow me uh, here on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, or you can go ahead and hit that uh, follow button on twitch.tv. But regardless of what you choose to do and follow in live streaming programs, my boy, know that your boy is gonna be out here making the dankest content and the dankest decks imaginable. So smash that like button and leave me a comment, my boy, and let me know that you keep it a dank. Now listen, this deck has a lot of combo potential and I really like decks like this. A lot of people have questions around how I'm running this deck, reasons why I've picked certain cards and other things like that. So that's the purpose of this video. I don't ever get the chance to really talk about this deck or how things work in this deck because basically I'm always playing and I'm kind of in the YT Dan mode. But when I'm in the YT Dan mode, it's easier to talk shit than it is to uh, actually talk about the reasons why I put certain cards in this deck and how I came to this conclusion. Now, if you originally have been watching me play this deck, I've started off with the idea of using my graveyard. I use cards like Tuning Gum, which pretty much stops you from being able to target, um, but you have to have it in the graveyard and it has to be a synchro monster. For what we're doing here, honestly, if you have Tuning Gum in the graveyard, if your opponent waited until you uh, put a synchro on the board before they tried to use Karma Cut, you kind of deserve to lose basic. I mean, they kind of deserve to lose basically because Tuning Gum can only stop a synchro and some people don't know that, but most people know that. So Tuning Gum is kind of almost like a really, really lucky card and it's not something that I want to have and it is a brick in your hand and you rarely ever use the effect of it being a tuner except for one time, one time, I did banish three light monsters in the graveyard to summon Livionaire to bring it back to use its, uh, use its tuning side of itself to synchro summon into Brianna. So I did do that one time. But other than that, <laughs> I've never really used it. So I decided to take it out in favor for a better combo, which, you know, is this the Miracle Synchro Fusion into Naturia Gaestrio. Now you are again probably wondering how I done that, and it's very easy to do that. So when you're using the skill set Delta Axel, it allows you to summon a TG uh, Recipro Dragonfly. When you summon Recipro Dragonfly, you wanna go ahead and Synchro Summon into TG Blade Blaster and go ahead and complete a Clear Mind Synchro Summon. Now, once you've opened up your Clear Mind Synchro Summon, you're gonna use the Dragonfly's effect to send away your TG Blade Blaster to special summon back to the field, your TG monsters, which is probably more than likely um, going to be, uh, yeah, your TG Star Guardian and your TG Power Gladiator. Now when Power Gladiator and Star Guardian uh, is on the field with Recipro, you go ahead and synchro all that together for probably TG Halberd Cannon or you know maybe this card depending on the situation and if it's a situation where there's no back row and it's absolutely fine to swing in and it's going to be game going into assault uh black wing is definitely a great move this card can basically attack with six thousand points and wipe out an opponent in one turn if their attack points are two thousand or below so that's really good um and then also you have uh, 
the halberd cannon that's going to negate your opponents from utilizing any type of summon but what's the beauty part is after you summon your halberd cannon you can activate miracle synchro fusion and with miracle synchro fusion you're going to use your graveyard to fuse you're going to use from your graveyard um your tg blade blaster and uh your tg power gladiator you're going to fuse those two earth synchros together and complete the chaos axle and you're gonna you just went from clear mind axle synchro delta axle my boy now this is the chaos axle my boy a level beyond a level beyond my boy now this card is really powerful because it says during either player's turn when a card or effect is activated that targets exactly one card on the field and you have no other cards you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard to negate the activation and if you do destroy that card now what's cool about this effect is that it creates every card in your hand becomes um, a negation card and you can recoup cards at least one good time using tg star guardians effect for free and there's always a free card it's like this tg booster raptor now i put booster raptor two and then I also put the uh, miscellaneous to three with three of the Raiden Hand of the Light Sworn, as I said, Hand of the Light Sworn, and took out Lumina because I needed to make space for Gaia Strio. And also for this card, number 42, Crumble Logos, the Prophet of Demolition. Yeah, Demolition. This card is so disgusting in this deck because it goes into the synergy of how and why I built this deck to utilize the graveyard. We are not using cards like TG Tank Grub. We are not using cards like TG Striker. We are not using cards like TG Werewolf. We are using cards like this, number 45, because this is a rank two XCs monster that can either exceed summon using um the effect of screw serpent to put this up to level two and then you can use recipro and your tg booster raptor to exceed into this monster or you can use the paleozoic canadias that have went into the graveyard and come out of the grave due to your opponent's karma cut you can go ahead and exceed summon using uh, the Paleozoic Kanadia and the level two or Recipro and go into this monster. And honestly, you'd only want to do this for two reasons. One, if there was a Fiendish Chain on a monster and you wanted to release the Fiendish Chain and activate the monster's effect. Or two, you need a beater that is higher than 2000, which happens a lot in this deck, happens a lot in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's just really easy to put two uh, level uh, two monsters on the field and that way you can go ahead and fight back now a big weakness to this deck is a lot of times You don't have any protection. I'm going ahead to use using two Paleozoic Canadia for the reason that I just stated previously and also Putting monsters face down is really good protection because our second Strongest well not even our second strongest our number one strongest winner the number one game winning card the true power to the chaos axle my boy is Brionic. Brionic is the strongest card in this deck because Brionic actually wins more games than every other monster in this extra deck because it's so easy to summon Brionic utilizing the Screw Serpent uh, Booster Wrap combo. It's so easy, so easy to go into Brionic and use Brionic to get rid of the entire board. And usually it's Brionic and. Um, yeah, it's usually Brionic and Gladiator for game. Basically, Brionic and Gladiator. Because after you use Screw Wrap, basically after you put out your level four tuner and you get the booster wrap on the field, you synchro into the Star Guardian. Star Guardian's effect activates, allowing you to get a card back. You normally take this back. You go ahead and drop it from your hand using Star Guardian's effect. Synchro summon yet again into uh the power gladiator activate the skill set deck delta axle special summon reduce level by one six five plus one six brionic that's a 23 
and a 23 attacking for game 23 and 23 so you know you should go ahead and get at give that man the machine tg machine axe that they deserve my boy and hit him with the brionic combo for the finisher and now here i have two more technical plays well three more technical plays and we are done with this deck i've discussed all these technical plays before but i wanted to just let you know i got three more left before i discuss the final boss monster now this is the final boss monster chaos dragon levionaire in here for obvious reasons we're running a stream of light and dark monsters he's just that one little extender that can just finish the game a really strong nice to have not really bad using it at one don't bother with two don't bother with melody just run one at random you can run melody and stuff like that but if you're going to do that i would suggest running more graveyard effects and more light and dark because sometimes you can draw this and it's just a complete and total brick and if it is you know it's, it's worthless in this meta now the reason why i want to just bring him up casually and just kind of throw it in there because he is a win more nice to have clutch card to have but everything else is more combo into but these last three tech cards really help this card out a lot now number one we're going to talk about Raikou, uh the life sworn fighter i mean twilight sworn fighter this card is disgusting is when it's normal summon or flip face up you can banish one life sworn monster from your hand or graveyard to banish one card on the field so you can hit back row i love that about this card and it really helps you to open your opponent up especially if your first turn play was charge of the light brigade you can set this in pass with some canadia action and leave a and leave mst in your hand and leave miscellaneous in your hand and draw into this or utilize miscellaneous effect to put out a booster rep booster rep blows up searches deck add this but you have this and a canadia set you're gonna win the game man so this is pretty disgusting like that's like my favorite little one tech one card plus he can be searched by the two charge of the light brigades now we only have uh two more tech monsters to talk about we already know black rose dragon so we're going to kind of skip over this really you can synchro summon the black rose dragon using tg star guardians effect you place your field your first turn and you put all your synchro materials on board and if your opponent tries to do anything against them or destroy them you can go ahead and trigger star guardians effect pop off the field and then bring out black rose and nuke the entire board now the reason why i'm kind of just blowing over that effect like it's almost nothing because it's definitely a huge deal but the reason why i'm blowing that off is because instead of nuking the whole board what i want to do is control the board now sometimes you come across an opponent where they invest a lot of resources into one card and they might do that while you have your field full of monsters if you can go ahead if you look at the field and you realize that there will be no more threats coming forward and all the stuff on the field is what it is and maybe they just set their two back row it might be a better move to go into Cyframe lord zeta than it is to go into black rose because instead of destroying all the cards you can go into Cyframe lord zeta banish their monster and then go mst that one back row and then commence the final turn play uh, to go ahead and just knock them out with your Hellberg cannon. Now that happens a lot too. So I think that, you know, in terms of tech, like this is a true tech genius deck, truly technical, truly has powers and advantages that are coming out of every different orifice and every single card can be used in the duel and every single monster has some type of synergy and you will get to get some use out of each one but i really feel like this deck is a deck that people are sleeping on and we need to go out and make sure that we are clapping the meta with this deck because right now in the meta it's a very unique time in the meta where it's so narrow that we can easily carve out a space for the tg deck but you got to duel with it my boy now the last thing i'm going to leave you with here is about the, the spell card lightning vortex lightning vortex is a very powerful card and we need to be aware of that if you think that your opponent has a lightning vortex or you think the lightning vortex play is likely do not put out nature your gaia strio gaia strio is a great card to play if you get this the miracle synchro fusion in your hand but 
don't just put it out and you know your opponent has lightning vortex. You're going to get lightning vortex and you're going to lose. What you want to do is execute an axle synchro. You want to do an axle synchro, my boy. And you want to get right in there with this beast. You want to summon your TG Blade Blaster. Then you want to use Dragonfly's effect to send Blade Blaster away, bring back your materials, then XC, then Synchro Summon, I'll say it, XCs, Synchro Summon into this, into the Halberd Cannon. So if you leave the Halberd Cannon on the field or uh, they go for the Lightning Vortex while well, you got Halberd Cannon, Halberd Cannon is destroyed and it will summon back TG Blade Blaster for free. And then once Blade Blaster is on the field, he can continue to dodge cards by banishing TG monsters from the grave, but also he has 3,300 attack points and he can negate spell cards um, during either player's turn when a spell or trap is activated that targets him specifically, he can negate spells or traps. So this card is pretty disgusting and fits within the framework and the concept of this whole deck or maybe Naturia Guy's Trio fits within that framework or concept. But basically you have the opportunity in this deck to summon the target negate and also summon out the summon negator. So that's just pretty much it, my boy. This deck blows up, this deck negates, this deck banishes, and also this deck uh, returns things to the hand, my boy. So this deck literally has everything, and I think it's going to be up to skilled and powerful duelists like us to make this deck like worthy to make people really see the power of the deck my boy but that's all i have for today and i'll leave the rest to you and as always keep it dang